Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Wednesday, uh, March 31st, and we're gonna follow Kathy around and see what we sold today. Hey guys, all right, eBay first today, so box L. these barrel men's jungle mop shoes uh, these were in almost perfect condition I did pay $11 and some change for them at Goodwill but it was worth it they sold for $40 plus shipping that was an offer I sent out I had them listed at 50 and then DI oh, where's the e-buster Alright, these I just listed yesterday, so we've been mentioning how we were going to start listing to eBay only first for a couple weeks. So, yesterday we did 40 listings, and two of them have sold. So, this is one of them, uh, Patagonia Baggy Shorts. I got these on our Nebraska trip at Once Upon a Child for $4.50. Sold them for $24.95 plus shipping in the same day. First day listed some. And now we don't have to spend that time cross-listing yeah, those, it was right? nice to not have to <laughs> delist this stuff, too. We are not quite fast <laughs> yet on listing on ebay first but yeah it, it took most of the day but i mean we did 40 you drafted them all for me i don't know it felt like forever but it was 40 i guess i don't normally do 40 in a day so um speaking of this was the other item that sold the first day and had not got cross posted yet so this is a harajuku lovers mermaid backpack which is like gwen stefani's line mm. um if you ever find anything from this look it up it's everything i found has sold for a good amount uh the last thing was a perfume set so some of them go for crazy amounts like some of these backpacks are going for like 80 bucks some of the perfumes can go for like over 100 so anyways i got this at a garage sale last summer for a dollar but it's just been sitting in my death pile because it just had a couple minor things that i probably should have spot cleaned but at, when i pulled it out i looked it over and nothing was I just decided to list as is because <laughs> yeah. otherwise it was never going to get listed. And yeah, so basically that sold for $30 plus ship. That was an offer I sent out as well. I couldn't find that exact backpack, so I didn't know how to price it because some were selling for $20, some were selling for $80. Um, I priced mine at $40 plus ship and sent an offer of $30. So might have got more, but I like a fast sale. All right, and then box CE. These are some Hoka shoes. I got these at, I don't remember where, but I paid $5.99 for them. I don't think they were from Salvation Army, though. Maybe my local hole-in-the-wall thrift. Um, and they sold for $65 free ship. And uh, the shipping, I already did it. It cost like $10.13, I think. So $6 into the shoes, $10 for shipping. And I paid $6. I already said that. And it sold for 65 so yeah, pretty good little sale. And um, then in box BF. These are some Rockies socks. I got these at TJ Maxx a while back. I got a couple pairs of them, one already sold. I'd hoped that they'd sell like before Christmas as like people would be buying them for gifts or something, but this pair did not. So today they sold for $14.95 free ship. I did pay four dollars for them so not huge but still happy with that and they're like seven ounces so they'll ship out for about 350. all right and then box ci we were just mentioning this dress the other day uh, that lularoe disney dress so i do only have one lularoe piece after this which is a men's henley shirt so this one sold on ebay for 19.95 plus shipping and i only have about a buck into it from the bins. All right, and then BN. These are some Reebok CrossFit shoes. I did pay $14.99 for them at Goodwill, but they sold for $59.95 plus shipping. I did see they were going through global shipping, so that means the buyer paid quite a bit on their end as well to ship them internationally I didn't check how much but yeah they had paid shipping to me so they're probably into those about a hundred bucks which is crazy to it me. Is crazy. <laughs> it's funny our la well not our last pair because we sold two <clears throat> pairs of CrossFit last week on Mercari but our last 
one on eBay, I feel like, went through the global shipping as well and yeah. sold for a really good amount, so... And they don't make the CrossFit ones anymore, right? Yeah, at least branded CrossFit, that, right? So, it's, so I, I don't know if there's a collector value <laughs> yeah, with I've anything never, that says CrossFit on it. No, but I only buy them because I've seen other sellers say they sell well. I yeah, I would never buy them for myself or anything, probably. All right, so that was it for eBay. We had a couple posh sales. Uh, this is a gal meets glam dress that I got from the Dillard's Discount Store over Labor Day. I did pay $21 for it and accepted a $50 offer just because it's been listed, what, six months at this point. I think I only have one more of that brand left. I bought, like, what, eight or ten dresses that day, and they've all sold off slowly. Yeah. But I've made a really good amount off of them if you total it all up. So glad I picked that up. Yeah, I, I mentioned it when we first sold the first one, but the brand... Or, the girl that I heard about them from Sense of Style on Instagram. Yeah. So... I'm really glad people share information. We so were I, expecting them to sell a lot quicker, but yeah. they've been selling for a good, pretty good price. And yeah, and I think the, the higher price stuff is the longer it takes yeah, to sell usually. That so. is true. I just got to get used to that because <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to selling my $20 kids' shoes and stuff. So see us. Another dress that had been listed for a while, so... This is Farm Rio. It's my first time finding it. I found it at Marshall's for $15 on their yellow tag sale. Um, I feel like I just saw. The reason I accepted a fairly low offer, it had a couple like spots like this, almost as if, I don't know, water dripped on oh, it. I don't faded. even know. Cause it is new with tag, but yeah, it had a couple flaws. I listed it at a hundred. It retails for like 200 something. And this was the first offer I've gotten. I've had it probably since September as well, so. Uh, did I say how much uh, that one? Someone offered me 50 and I just took it because, yeah, who knows if I'll ever get another offer. <laughs> I'm happy with the profit. So 50, I get 40. I paid 15. It's good enough for me. Yeah, if if we get an offer and it seems low, and but <laughs> it's a good profit based on our cost of goods, we usually just take it. And then the last Poshmark sale are these Skechers. They're like a loafer boat shoe type shoe. Uh, these ones I got at Goodwill for $7.99 and accepted a $30 offer. So, love selling my Skechers. <laughs> All right, then Mercari, we got Box Q again. Right, these are some Croc sandals. They sold for $23 plus shipping. I have $9 into them. All right, next one in AJ. These are some little baby Crocs. These actually sold to a viewer, Shannon. Thank you so much. She said she watches our channel every morning and she thinks we are a great pair. So <laughs> thank you, Shannon. Sometimes it works out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then last sale is One Kid is in Sale. It's another pair of these play sandals. Where are you going, Bob? What you doing, Reese? You were just looking out the window. <laughs> you need any help in there? This is my last pair of the size 11, so just those orange ones. They sold for my full list price on Kitazim. Well, I think I have a 5% off sale running, but they paid $27.55 plus shipping. I have $10 into the sandals. All right, so that's it for today. All right, we'll go last ahead. Last day of the month. Yeah, last <laughs> day. We'll go ahead and get this stuff packed up, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We got that all packed up. Reese, you are no help at all. I don't know what you're doing over there. Get it together, man. Anyway, we forgot one. We forgot to pull one. This is not a new sale. We forgot to pull it. <laughs> just another pair of those Hurley swim trunks. These ones will, I actually just price dropped. So every day on Mercari, I promote 10 items. We say that a lot. Um, and this was one of them today, so I... It was listed at 28, it dropped it to 26, and someone offered me 21 within like a few minutes of me dropping price, so I just accepted. So $6 and a 21 plus shipping on those. Very nice. Oh, we printed the label. That's yeah, we were. We, that we, didn't... we printed the label, stuck it on the mailer, and we're like, where's where are these shorts? <laughs> you want to do that? Yeah, let's go over that? the, what we've done in March. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we haven't really added them all yet, right? Uh, totaled yeah, I know I'll put the totals here on the screen um, in April. <laughs> haven't even hit my weekly goal <laughs> all right but yeah last night we did 40 items 
completely listed to eBay, nowhere else yet. Two of them sold today, like you guys saw. Um, so however, hopefully at least 10 or so sell by two weeks before we cross post. And then yeah, today, so I planned on waking up, you know, we got all of our 40 listings not only listed yesterday, but Chris stayed up and helped me like bag them all and put yeah, them you away. Kind of see the table. It was a little bit of a mess last night. We got yeah, a little bit. A lot of it's that still stuff. A mess, but, it's still um, a mess. Anyways, yeah, he helped me stay up. So we got it all inventoried as well. And then, cause that would have like taken up my morning if not. So then I was like, oh, I'll just wake up and start photographing that pile of shoes you guys have been seeing for days. Yep. But then I found Why aren't they done? <laughs> I found something I wanted on Facebook Marketplace, like local pickup. So I dropped my son off at school, went to the pickup, which was like a few miles. It was more in town than we live. We live a little bit on the outskirts of town. So went into town, got the porch pickup. And then I saw my phone, Plato's Closet, texting me 10 <laughs> off 30. So I was like, well, I'm already halfway to Plato's. I might as well just go to Plato's. And at least spend this coupon, like I'll get a pair or two of shoes. So I went over to Plato's, but it was only 9.30. They open at 10. So I was like, dang it. <laughs> I already <laughs> drove all the way over here. So our house is like 10 miles away from Plato's. So I was like, I'm not just going to drive home empty. And I got to at least find something for my time now. So then I went across the street to Goodwill, um, which is like right by the Plato's closet because they open at 9. So I was like, I'll just spend 30 minutes over there until Plato's opens. So it was a good shoes day at Goodwill. How so many I minutes did you spend over there? Probably about two hours at Goodwill. <laughs> I got a lot of really good shoes, so I'm not mad I did it, but I am mad that I didn't get any listings done because we really need to get listings done. We're back down to like 700 listings yeah. and we were up past 1,000. So yeah. I want to get that back up to 1,000 ASAP. Obviously, as, as long as stuff keeps selling, I'm happy, but it's gonna stop selling if I don't keep listing. <laughs> so I still, I mean, it's only what three. I gotta go get my son from school, but I do plan to do at least 10 to 15 tonight, I think. Since I'm not cross posting, it should be faster. Also shoes are faster than clothes cause they don't require measurements. And yeah, so we'll check back tomorrow with <laughs> what we got done today for the last day of the month. And then I'll, I mean, yeah, I'm probably gonna be like editing this video tonight. tomorrow. So I'll just go ahead and put those numbers up on the screen here. Yeah. So then I'll while we're talking tomorrow morning yeah. started with april i'll probably put these few days at the top just so that we can see what we did for the week yeah and half of it was marked so yeah that's what we're working on and yeah we did make the decision um, to start our ebay um only listing this week like on a monday just to make it easier for yeah, we, we like to do things purposes. weekly and stuff like that so yeah. um it just made more sense to do it on a monday not on uh, Thursday so yeah and then our total for the month is again we've been saying this like every month since last year I feel like but it, it's still the best month ever again. yeah this this was our best month I think a lot of that has to do with the stimmy yeah and I think March is when people start buying their bathing suits their yeah. sandals stuff so like season change even without the stimmy people are just like okay out with the old in with the new I am $61 under what I my lofty goal was <laughs> so it's pretty good um i still count myself through midnight so you know i could still end up hitting the goal by the end of the day and yeah we'll let you know tomorrow so yeah really happy with this month How it's going. <laughs> i'm excited for april yeah so that that goal was hit while we had a week-long vacation away so that was it, it's bittersweet right like what could things have been if we didn't go on vacation but then again, the reason we do this and why we work from home and why we, you know, have built this business is so that we can take vacations, so that we can spend time with our kids when we want to. And, you know, yeah, we could have we could have exceeded our goal by a lot, but we are reaching that goal while also going on vacation. And I think that's super awesome, super powerful. And it reminds us why we did this in the first place, why we started working for ourselves, you know. We don't do this for the money. We do this for the freedom, right? We do this for the freedom of growing up with our kids and, and having activities with our kids. So this month has been a great reminder of why we started our own business, the reason why we've grown it and why we want to continue to grow it. We're getting to that point where um, it, it all makes sense. And this is exactly why we did this and exactly why you probably resell also to try to get a little bit more of that freedom or financial freedom. Um, Maybe a little bit of money in your pocket. I know not 
everybody that watches us are full-time resellers. Um, a lot of you probably not even resellers. We have a lot of viewers that aren't even resellers, which kind of is crazy to me. So, um, anyway, yes, that's, that's going to do it for this what's old video. I went on a little bit of a ramble there, but that's going to do it for this one. So we're going to go ahead and I guess finish packing up those shorts and get everything off to the post office. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching guys.